Economic efficiency by plus 37 percent, vis-a-vis the Huracan Performante, and we are also able to apply solutions to maximize the cooling efficiency on this car. Now, coming to the exterior of this car, 75 percent of the exterior parts on this SPO are made of carbon fiber. If we start from the front, we have the Cofango, which is a lightweight solution because it has less fixing parts. And as we move to the rear fender, here our R&D has applied their expertise in the lightweight technology. Here we have used the sandwich technology, which we also see in the aerospace industry. And with this technology, we are able to reduce the usage of carbon fiber materials by 25%, but at the same time, maintaining the same level of structural rigidity. This windscreen is 20% lighter than the Huracan Performante, and we also have the wheels in alloy, uh, alloy wheels in magnesium, which again helps us to bring more lightweight to this car. Now, we have also applied all the racing solutions on this Huracan STO so that we can create the maximum utilization of the aerodynamics what we have. Like you can see that we have the specific anti-roll bar on the Huracan STO. The suspension is more stiffer and also you can see that the tracks of this Huracan STO are much wider than the Huracan Evo. We have also developed new tires with the, uh, our expertise uh, on this and we are able to have completely new set of tires for usage on the road and on the track. Now coming to the technology on this car. Now this can be summarized with four key features. On the rear you can see that we have the three step manually adjustable rear wing which helps the driver to get the optimum aero balance as per the race track characteristic. Then we have the rear wheel steering on the Huracan SQ. Now with the rear wheel steering, the driver can have the rear wheel steer as per the front wheel as per the requirement. Say for example, when you are cornering the car on low speed, the rear wheel will move in the opposite direction than the front wheel, thus making the car more agile to give you the faster corner exit. And when you are doing cornering at high speed, they will move in the same direction as front wheel making the car much more stable again to give you the faster corner exit. Then we have the torque vectoring which helps us to maximize the performance of the car by improving the stability and the Magna Ride 2.0 on the Huracan STO which helps the driver to adjust the dampening in the shock absorber depending on the road characteristics. Now when this V10 naturally aspirated engine of STO comes to life our racing heritage can be both felt as well as heard. We have applied all our experience and expertise from our racing cars, Evo GT3, to bring this beta naturally aspirated engine to maximize the output and experience like a racing car on this Huracan SPO. This engine delivers 640 CV of power at 8000 RPM and also gives you 565 newton meter of torque at 6500 RPM. The performance is striking, 0 to 100 in 3.0 seconds, and the top speed of 310 kilometers per hour. We have also designed the new exhaust system on the Huracan SPO. And with this exhaust system, you will get all the racing notes, all the sound of a racing car on this Huracan SPO. We also have three new driving modes on Huracan SPO, and these driving modes are different than what you see on Lamborghini Super Sports car. So we have the first mode which is the STO which gives you the maximum front wheel drive experience in your day to day driving on any kind of road in any kind of weather. Then we have the Trofeo mode which gives you the setup to give you best performance on the track. In this mode the driver will get the best lap timings. And then we have the third mode which is known as Pioja which gives us the best stability and best grip on the wet surfaces. Now coming to the braking system 